new avionics <laughs> upgrade. Come on, you told me on my misery. Which Wait. movie was it? <laughs> Andrew, was it was it E.T. or was it uh, Spider Man or was it The Incredible Hulk? Spider Man. Oh, okay. good work, good work. New Thank avionics you. upgrades will make UK and US Chinooks a tag team in the skies. Smarter, safer, and ready to dominate together. Collins Aerospace, which is, of course, part of RTX, has secured a $19 million contract to upgrade UK Royal Air Force Chinooks with the common avionics architecture system. This is going to ensure interoperability between UK and US uh, Chinooks, enhancing collaboration, operational effectiveness, my favorite word, uh, and safety during missions, of course. The CAAS system is using a modular open architecture, seamless upgrades, reducing life cycle costs. Work is going to actually take place in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and Huntsville, Alabama, with Collins collaborating with the UK Ministry of Defense to meet the airworthiness standards of the UK. This is, of course, aligning with their purchase, the UK's purchase of 14 extended range Chinooks projected to inject 151 million pounds into the UK economy. It's good. I, I just want to dive in real quick. I, I think I heard at least two different ways to pronounce this word so far in, in that. So well, how, how do you say say the, the word for this, Greg? Well, which the word for which what? Word? Is, is, is it Chinooks or Chinooks? Because I heard you say say both of them. I, heard, I thought it was Chinook. No, it's Chinook. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Yeah. No, it's never been. My, it's never been. Might be in British. I think it's Chinook. <laughs> I, think you're being, I think you're being Australian, <laughs> if we're being honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah go on dallas boy you must know you're in that world down there <laughs> no no we we just die of heat down here normally <laughs> okay okay so the chip the big big thing here is going to be getting those certifications through making sure collins can actually align the new what is it caas system yeah. um with the uk military um uh, authorities the maa they're called down there across there or where i am right now actually um making sure they meet those requirements while juggling modular upgrades and tight timelines so one hiccup they're getting that certification process and they're going to be all the way rolled back um so they're going to meet those maa requirements well yeah i mean the requirements are you, you've got to meet those because this cockpit upgrade is going to use interoperability between the US and the UK versions. It's going to have the same avionic systems, advanced digital cockpit display, di cockpit displays and applications. Uh, the MOSA, the modular open system approach is the way that they're trying to use this to, to integrate the multiple communications, the navigation, the multiple sensors. And having an open systems architecture, which I think is a really great idea here, because it mm -hmm. lets you have a lot of the cost-effective system upgrades and enhancements. It's going to help reduce cost over time, over the life cycle, future-proofing, all of that kind of stuff. As part of the contract, Collins Aerospace is responsible for completing the data analysis and testing while working with the UK Ministry of Defense to look at you know, th their requirements over there. So we're looking at a way to need to assure integration compatibility and the future proofing. So all this is great, but we got to make sure that that's actually the case of how this is all compatible, integrated, and future proofed. Yeah, but I'm still going to go back with certification and making those meeting those UK standards uh, because that shiny little Chinook ain't going yeah. anywhere. It's grounded unless they get through those certifications. So flawless certification every step of the way is the biggest challenge. Oh, so now you're saying if you don't have good certification, you're grounded. I mean, right. you, 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 you told me I couldn't make the joke earlier, but now you can make it. So it's fine. <laughs> okay, okay. But how do we ensure that flawless certification? How it's, do you make sure going, the product is up to snuff? It, it's it consistent back. through the show, isn't it? This way it's requirements. It, it goes gathering. back to requirements. It's, it is. It's traceability. It's making sure the, the airworthiness requirements in granular detail uh, to guide dev, to guide integration, and then drop it, pushing it through into design and change. Yeah, it's using not just making agile. sure your requirements are set at the beginning. It's making sure that they're used throughout the entire product lifecycle, the entire plan, you the got entire it. critical thread. You know, you, yep. you said design, right? It, it's, yep. it, it's from there. It's also in testing. It's also in standards management though you know it's a shame that we can't use ai though 
Oh, it's funny you should say AI. I definitely got an AI one coming in on this. AI-assisted compliance checks. That's mm -hmm. where you get using your AI to cross-check your design and your integration against those MAA standards for, for pre-certification assurance. It will cover all of that.